All right, Classroom 6. This week we are going to continue learning about ecosystems, and today we're going to focus on a specific type of ecosystem. Last week we talked about land ecosystems. This week we're going to be talking about water ecosystems. One of those ecosystems are rivers. Now rivers you might not have been to a river, but you've probably played in a creek. I know that before I came to Presley Ridge, a lot of you had played in a creek before with Mr. Reckner. You guys had gone on a CBI and you've um, explored the woods outside the school. So I want you to think about times like this. You've probably found a lot of different animals there. Some of those animals are the same types of animals that live in the river. So rivers have different types of animals, including fish and some plants that can't live in the ocean. Now the reason that these organisms can't live in the ocean is because rivers are made of fresh water. That's like the kind of water that you get from your sink or from the water fountain. But oceans are made of salt water. So just like how you wouldn't wanna drink a glass of salt water, a lot of animals aren't going to want to live in a place that is made of salt water. Some organisms can't handle living in a place that has that much salt. It'll be poisonous or toxic for them. There are also some animals that live in rivers who can also live on land. So when you've played in a creek, you might've found a frog or a toad. These are the types of animals that will live in the water, but they'll also live in the land. Same thing with ducks. Ducks will build nests on the land, but they'll also be swimming in the water. Now we're going to talk about wetlands. There are a lot of different kinds of wetlands, but the best way to picture this is a swamp. So a wetland is partly covered with water or it is flooded at least part of the year. Growing up, there was a field near my house where um, typically during the springtime when it would rain a lot, it would sort of become a wetland. It wasn't exactly a pond, but it was more like regular land just totally covered in water. So many of the organisms that live in wetlands are also found on land and in water, just like animals that live in rivers. However, there's a lot of different types. So for example, in wetlands, you might see alligators or crocodiles. Because there are so many plants that live in wetlands, when the river flows, a lot of the germs and bacteria will stick to the plants. So this protects the animals from dangerous substances that could be harmful for them. So when that water is moving, all of the harmful materials are um, captured kind of by the plants and the trees. Now we're gonna talk about coral reefs. Coral reefs are some of the most beautiful places in the world. Corals might look like plants, but they're actually animals. They just don't interact like how animals were used to do. When they die, their skeletons become a place for reef animals to live. Now that might sound a little morbid, but these animals are sort of, um, you'll find them in certain parts of different oceans, but when, they're, when their life is over, they dry out and they become harder, and this is when fish will use them for protection. Animals that you might find that live in coral reefs might be sharks, crabs, eels, and lots of different fish. If you've seen Finding Nemo, this is exactly what we're talking about. That beautiful coral reef with all those different types of fish and beautiful corals. Now coral reefs exist in very warm environments. There are some in Florida and you'll definitely find coral reefs in Australia. And then we have the deep sea. It's really dark and really cold here. Remember that part in Finding Nemo? When Dory's singing his little song, Just Keep Swimming, and they swim down a little too far? Remember that really creepy fish with the little flashlight looking thing coming off of his head? That's the type of animal that you're gonna find in the deep sea. So not a lot of animals can survive here. It's a really harsh place to live. So the animals that are able to survive here, they look a lot different than the animals that we would be able to see. The sunlight can't reach the deep sea, so there's no plants. Everything that's on the floor of the ocean has floated down there. So nothing grows there, and it's very, very hard to sustain life there. So those are our four water ecosystems. Go ahead and fill out your form on Google Classroom.